The overall goal of this protocol is to analyze important key aspects of E3 ligase function, including E2 enzyme specificity, substrate selection and ubiquitin transfer. The main advantage of this technique is its wide applicability, as proteins from all eukaryotic sources can be recombinantly expressed and studied in vitro without the need for special equipment. When using the lysine discharge technique for the first time, it is important to optimize assay parameters such as enzyme concentrations to identify the ideal discharge conditions for the E3 ligase of choice. To perform an in vitro auto ubiquitylation assay, set up a pipetting scheme to test the functional ability of different E2 enzymes and prepare a master mix on ice for all of the ubiquitylation reactions plus one additional reaction. Next, add one micromolar of E2 enzymes to the appropriate tubes and incubate the samples in a PCR thermocycler for two hours under the indicated conditions. After the incubation, Add SDS sample buffer to each reaction and mix by pipetting several times. Then immediately boil the samples at 95 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes and store the denatured proteins at minus 20 degrees Celsius. To perform an in vitro substrate ubiquitylation assay, prepare the pipetting scheme for all of the reactions. After calculating the amount of master mix required for one reaction, prepare the master mix for all of the reactions on ice and add the master mix to each tube. Add the respective E3 ligases individually. Then incubate the samples in the PCR thermocycler for two hours as demonstrated.